Okay, okay, well recently we've entered into a war with Iran. Well, the war has been declared, it's been declared by the Iran government. Now, the truth is, this has been controlled, this has all been planned for the World War Three, by the, by the in, in, International Bank System in America, the Rockefellers, who are also responsible for Germany having all these bombs and, well, these planes on the Rockefeller oil. Because about money, they need more war to make money, and this is a plan for the world, 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 one world government. Most of the wars being planned by the Rockefellers, they've even staged events. They've, they've, done stuff like you know, planned the nine eleven. They've planned all sorts of thing, all sorts of dirty thing things. And honestly, enough is enough. Some of the things they have done that I know they've done, not as does not is shocking and disgusting. You know, you look at um, John F. Kennedy, who got assassinated. You know, I know who's behind that, and you know what? It doesn't surprise me. It may surprise other people. Whilst. The Rockefeller from Corporation. I mean, these people was a was a threat. Some of the, some of the presidents get assassinated. They say it has been a threat to their plan. They've been assassinated because they are a threat. The internet banking system, international banking system, is the great great evil. And that are going to screw everyone's lives up. Their plan of the normal government, it's at the moment working. But I am asking people to wake up. Wake up now, open your eyes, and do something about this. They're obviously shouting and raving, ain't gonna do the trick because they don't listen. Don't we gonna do something? Is by having mass killings of these people, of the evil, evil behind these and these schemes, the same evil that shortly after World War Three are going to suggest one world government and one world army to make it look like they were innocent and a good party, but this is to take away his freedoms. This is in all the the World War Three is for money and to bring down the population. That's what it is, so they can control us all the rest of us on this earth. So how about those who those who are watching this and want to do something right? Get some C four. Get where you can find and start blowing up certain buildings what these people work in blow the inter international banking system building blow up ha homes of Rockefeller families do what you must because to to eliminate these people because if you don't do what you if you don't do anything about it soon you be a slave a slave to these evil people Karl Marx once said about communism and he wrote a book and he, he had a great idea and he said that we need to get rid of capitalism which allow the capitalism to take over they were so scared so they wanted us to think that communism was evil so they did it they did it through Starling to be communism and be evil and corrupt and kill people spoke against him. But as we, uh, but as I know, that's not how communism should have worked, because Karl Marx communism was all about equal right, equal equal opportunities, equal rights, equal payments. But they wanted us to believe, they wanted you to believe, they wanted everyone to believe, 
that was the new thing and the capsule was a way forward because it meant more money for them. If Stalin had not gotten power and the right person had read his book, then maybe we'd be in a communism, communism system right now. And these greedy bankers wouldn't be earning the money they're earning right now. These evil bankers would have been brought to justice. They have had secret meetings. They have done so many devious, dirty tricks in order to get people's money off them. They use media, they use entertainment theme parts, they use everything to keep us distractive. For God's sake, they even, along with the government, the government have made drugs illegal. Why? Because drugs helps you to think outside the box if taken correctly. They help you to fuse your mind. That's what drugs actually do. And also, every reason when drugs, weed is illegal. Back in the day, Americans would drink alcohol, but, but the Mexicans would smoke weed. And it was also a racist thing because the Mexicans didn't like the Mexicans, so made weed illegal. We know that cigarettes are much, much, much more dangerous than the drug hash. It kills better, it kills more. It's a more dangerous drug. Yet cigarettes are legal. Hash is illegal. There are, there are legal drugs out there that makes you feel high that are not illegal. Why? Because the legal drugs are drugs that may help you to think. There are some drugs out there that are dangerous and that are legal, illegal and they should be legal. But each drug does something. Now there's a lot of countries out there who do the same drugs but the thing is in the UK a lot of drugs such as heroin are dangerous because they have stuff put into them. But some countries have stuff like that that is per and it's actually safe. But but the but the British drug 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 dealers and the American drug dealers and other drug dealers outside these other countries like to add shit to stuff in order to get us hooked on other stuff and make money. And I wouldn't be surprised if the main drug dealers of these dangerous drugs were the Rockefellers. Think about it. Get us hooked on something dangerous. So we spend our money or anything like this keeps us away, keeps our minds off things. But yeah, they don't like us taking stuff per... If, if someone's take acid, they want that person to also take alcohol with it as well. So then they become stupid. Because if that person takes acid on its own, he or she is very likely to start thinking and be able to think. Because what the drug is doing not good for the Rockefeller, not good at all. So when you're sitting, sitting, when you're watching this, think of ways to stop this government, stop the one world government. Take out people. We also need to start taking out governments. We need to take out George Bush. We need to take out anybody who is plotting the one world government system and there's going to be an awful lot of people and we need to stand up for ourselves because our freedom is slowly drifting away and the system that's with this is Islam that is also working with and the one, these secret governments that we don't know about are also working with Islam Think about it. They're giving Islam everything it wants. What does it give the rest of the world? What does it give to what 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 American America is building a mosque? What is it actually giving 
to a people out there it's from its own country that were born in America nothing peace